All right, so let's start with our Reddit React top of the week. Chess Open World. What is this? We have um, Chess Open World. This is a board of chess. In the guys, the guy has a chess board on the floor in the toilet room. Um, I'm, I'm missing the joke, but anyway, yeah, it's a uh, <laughs> little, little bit weird. Kind of weird. Kind of weird. I mean, yeah, what he's gonna take a, uh, he's gonna do something bad or something. I don't know. Okay, next up, we have, what is this? We have, wait, what is this board? What game is this? This looks like one of these games I played as a kid. Um, what is this board? What game is this? I feel like I've, I feel like I've seen this game before. I really do. Is this, I, I, I swear as a kid I saw it. Is this Snakes and Ladders? It is? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Actually, now I look at, yeah, of course the red things are snakes. Why, why am I so blind? Of course. So it's not chess, you guys, but very funny. Thank you so much. Yeah, no, 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 of course. It's classic snakes, snakes and ladders. You roll, you get to the top. Yeah, of course. I just, the, for whatever reason, my brain wasn't processing the red things. They didn't look like snakes to me. I thought it was like a dinosaur or something. Um, but anyway, okay, let's let's keep going. Um, before before I sound any more stupid, or before I sound stupider, sorry. Um, before I sound any stupider. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> when you think you're a good chess player. Okay, um, all right. My Lee Chess rating, my chess.com rating, my FIDE rating. Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, okay, so that was stupid. I agree. Okay. Lee Chess, you're pretty buff. Chess.com rating, you're not super happy. FIDE rating, it's yeah. Makes sense. Next up, what do we have? We have, let's see if Hikaru can analyze this random game from the Sons of the Forest. I don't know what Sons of the Forest is, um, but once again, whoever did this is, is not great because they set up the king and queen wrong. The black king is on a light square. The queen is on a dark square. That is the wrong, that, that is the, um, actually, no, it's correct, but the board is um, rotated wrong. So this is set up, just set up wrong, completely set up wrong. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know what this is supposed to be. I see like B3, G3, all kinds of weird moves. Yeah, the board, board is just rotated wrong. Um, okay, next up we have, wish I had someone to use this on. They say my queen is worth nine, but you're worth, or let me do it again. They say my queen is worth nine, but you're worth everything. Uh, how was that? Um, anyway, okay. So yeah, <laughs> this is after I won. Um, this, this is after I won uh, in San Sebastian, I think it was, because I'm wearing this, this, uh, this Basque hat on top here. So this, this, is, uh, this is nice. Nice picture. Nice picture. This is 2009. I remember this well because during the U.S. Championship, which was held in May of 2009, um, before I think there was a rest day, maybe two or three rounds before the end of the event, and I went to the Dillers uh, at the St. Louis Galleria, and I bought this purplish maroon shirt, and I also bought this uh, this gold tie at Dillard's, so uh, that's, why, that's why I'm able to pinpoint exactly where this picture is from. Next up, what do we have? We have Guy gave free Elo because he thought he was playing with a woman. Hi, you are super fit. Hmm. Complimenting. What's your name, cutie? Check, check out my profile. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Very bad. Very bad. Very bad. All right. Ah, so bad. Next up, what do we have? Um, uh, yeah. Oh, wait, there are more pictures? Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, there are more pictures. You're right. Okay, wait. Oh, gosh, this is going to be worse, right? Okay. Uh, got some, got, got someone sweet like you to even play. Ah, so sweet. Thanks, but I am saying the truth. Now I know I have to, I have to talk to someone cute and intelligent or be with someone cute and intelligent like you. By the way, I swear if I'm winning any match against you, I will resign. I am playing now just to talk to you. I can't beat a cutie like you, honey, babe. All right. Babe, can you send me your Facebook ID? Babe, I can give you as much ELO as you want. Don't worry, babe. I love you so, so much. I can't find your Facebook ID, honey. Can you tell me your name or send me the link of your account? Okay. Um, and is that it? There's no more? I think that's it, right? <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's it. There's nothing more. Wow. A desperate, desperate much? Desperate much? All right. Next up, what do we have? We have what the average Hikaru fan sees. Um, they, they see all of this. Caesars versus Goose Noob. Goose Noob. Okay, a bunch of pieces on random squares. Exactly. It's just all very chaotic. This this reminds me of... Um, you know what this actually reminds me of? 
This reminds me of the uh, the Picasso painting. Um, this this actually reminds me a lot. There's like the chaotic Picasso painting. I don't remember the name of it. Um, but that's what this reminds me of. Does anybody? So it's, it's the one where it's like very chaotic. There are a lot of lines. Um, let me see if I can find it quickly. Is it, is it Guer, Guernica? Guernica? Yes, it's Guernica. Exactly. Yeah, it's, it's this. It's, it's Guernica. You're right. It's Guernica. Yep. Exactly. So this is what this reminds me of. This reminds me of Ah, I'll just castle. Yeah. No, no. It's it's Guernica. It's like it's when Picasso was going through that like really dark period or, or whatever it was. But anyway, who cares? Next up, what do we have? Um, we have what you guys call this marathon chess. Yeah, this is um this is this is actually more dank than classical chess. This probably takes you like, I mean, this probably takes you a month to get get to where when the, once the game begins. Although actually, it's interesting because you can probably reset your pieces in all kinds of random ways. Yeah, I assume rooks and queens. But what happens if you get a rook? If you get a rook in front of the pawn, like if you if you lift the rooks quickly, can the rooks just go all the way down to the other end very quickly? I mean, I don't know. Maybe it can. Probably it can. But it's it's an interesting concept. Uh, not practical, of course, but interesting. Next up, what do we have? When you make a blunder and you have to keep a straight face so your opponent might not notice. <laughs> yep. Okay. Next up, what do we have? We have, I was today years old when I got to know Hikaru appeared in Billions Season 5, Episode 2. Yep. Very, very good. Um, this, of course, was from uh, was from Billions. It was filmed, I think, very late in 2019, maybe even early in 2020. I forget when it was. Um, but th this was this was pretty classic. This happened right before the pandemic um, when, when I filmed it. And then, of course, it got released right during the heart of the pandemic, which is also pretty, pretty crazy as well. All right. So next up, what do we have? We have bro thinks he's Hikaru. Um, which bro? This bro? I don't know. Or this bro? Everybody thinks they're me, but they aren't me. Next up, we have what the average Hikaru fan sees updated. Okay. Um, now, now this doesn't look like Picasso. This is like some, some cheap imitation where you're trying to be like Banksy or something. This is like really, this is like a bad cheap attempt at like street art slash graffiti and, and all that stuff. Um, yeah, it, but it, it also not, not, not terrible. This one I like as well. Okay, next up, what do we have? Um, sheesh. Me, mom, can we have Peaky Blinders? Mom, no, we have Peaky Blinders at home. Peaky Blinders at home. Now, I've never watched Peaky Blinders, so I'm not going to get this one. Um, but I guess people who've watched it, it will make sense. Um, next up, what do we have? We have the God of Red Squares and Arrows, the board, what Hikaru is planning, what the enemy is planning, what it looks like to us. Exactly. I think I've seen this one before. Okay. Um, buffed. Okay, this is with a big zebra on G1, big zebra here. I actually, I like this set. This is a very retro kind of old school. It feels like a very like Eastern European kind of set. And then you have a zebra. So I like it. Um, next up, what do we have? I didn't, I didn't upvote it. So let me upvote it. We have, it's called on, on, what's it? On Passant. So you play with the pawns. Is the cat going to move here? Let's see. Nice. Nice. Very nice. Next up, what do we have? We have a few more. We have a day in the life of a 900. Zero brilliant moves. Two great moves. Three best moves. Three excellent. One good. Zero book moves. That's a little bit mediocre. Um, two inaccuracies. One mistake. Two blunders. No missed wins. Now, this doesn't feel like this doesn't feel like a 900 level game to me. Because in a 900 level game, you're going to have two blunders is actually two blunders two inaccuracies and one mistake is actually pretty good i feel like on average you're gonna have like significantly more i, I think you're gonna have like four inaccuracies and like three blunders and maybe like three mistakes two one two is probably not 900 level if it's a very short game it's possible if it's a very short game it's possible but in general if you have a 30 move game this is pretty good if you're at 900 you should have significantly more mistakes but zero book moves also says a lot too so who knows all right Next up, we have literally don't care. Oh, this one, of course. You versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. Yeah, this actually, I have to be honest. Th this is still going to upset me. Maybe it's going to upset me until I actually win a nice trophy because this is the trophy that I got for winning in Iceland and in Reykjavik. And this is a trophy for the for the chess.com global championship, which, uh, which which Wesley won. And it still upsets me to this day that I got this this trophy. And this one is just such a nice professional trophy. But I got this this. Uh, yeah, this um this 
it's like I think it's it's like dried lava. It's not lava. It's like it's like ro rock or what? It's volcanic rock. Uh, dude, the volcanic stone is rare. Can't you just go to Iceland and get some no matter what? Is, is it? Am I crazy? Um, no, it's out in my living room, so I'm not gonna get it right now. But anyway, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Next up, what do we have? We have Gotham Chess. Gotham Chess video about how to become a grandmaster. I guide others to a treasure I cannot possess. <laughs> <laughs> okay this is a great meme um although yeah i could say something but i'm not going to i'm gonna leave it there um there, there there's a there's a grand math that you should watch if you're trying to get to gm but let's leave it at that next up we have hikaru eating bots while speed running chess.com bots exactly yep okay there we go uh, yeah there's a certain gm his name starts with a d his last name starts with an n Let's leave it at that. So anyway, Hikaru eating bots while speed running. Nice. All right. So that's going to be it for our Reddit React um, for today. Again, I will try to cover it once a week. Everything that has 100 more upvotes, I will take a look at. So pretty light this week. Next week, hopefully there will be quite a bit more, but we will see. Yeah, Nadia Danaritsky. It's obvious. Yeah, Nadia Danaritsky. That's whose videos you should watch. <laughs>